this is one of the things about a ride through ladakh you don't control anything you can't really even plan for when you're going to be where and that's what's happening to us now Hello, Namaste and Jule from Ladakh. I know that it's been more than a little while since I made my last video here on YouTube, but we'll talk about why and what later. The here and now. I'm back in Ladakh, this time on a very different motorcycle. This is the KTM Adventure 390. KTM has been creating and curating experiences for its customers in the form of adventure trails, adventure riding training and some longer trips. This is the marquee trip. This is Ladakh. It's the biggest, it's the baddest, but we're currently somewhere in between Nubra Valley and Shok Valley. Before I talk about what's happening here, you need to know where we started and how it's going. This journey started at Chandigarh, where an eclectic group of 31 riders from all over India and Nepal gathered with one common objective to find ourselves a great ladakh adventure the first step towards achieving this was to leave the city behind and head into the mountains So that's the atoll tunnel is it hmm i wonder whether i need to make a video saying first youtuber from tamil nadu who flew to chandigarh riding a borrowed bike wearing a climb jacket who has crossed the atoll tunnel that record is mine once we were past jispa i truly began to feel like i was closer to the himalayas the landscape got more pretty and the motorcycles began to dance After four days of adventurous riding, we paused to catch our breath in the beautiful city of Leh. The motorcycles received some much-needed TLC in preparation for all that still lay ahead. Once well-fed and rested, we were ready to continue our journey deeper into Ladakh, crossing the mighty Khardungla as we made our way towards Nubra Valley. We're on the way down from Khartungla. Every time I come here, this never gets old, man. Never gets old. Huh? 
my riding partner on this trip is the famous mr sarath senoy he says sharat but he spells it sarath just like i'm rohit <laughs> but uh, he's from bangalore cochin bangalore a really really brilliant rider fortunate to be his friend i've met him once previously in nepal we were both doing epic rides at that point we met in kathmandu and now we finally get to ride together yeah <laughs> and especially on a trip like this the company makes a huge difference so i'm really glad this guy's here and uh, he's also helping me shoot clips for this video so some of the clips you see here were shot by him thank you bro welcome Most people who visit the sand dunes at Hundar enjoy them astride a double humped Bactrian and camel but we were there to do something very different you're riding a sand a sand section especially on a flatter section like this you don't have to put your weight way to back or way to front i'm going to be on my toes over here now all right because i may not need the brakes so much but i need the momentum all right going to look further ahead chin up right above the handlebar all right in this fashion and your elbows are going to be wide up like this you're ready to do a bench press it's going to be unnerving in the beginning all right but try and focus on that so what are you thinking right now i'm excited are you really i am seriously full excitement excited zero fear excited and scared together excited and scared together excited and scared together what about you I'm trying to be calm, not lose my nerves on the curves. Not lose your nerves on the curves. <laughs> I've done sand before. I've done sand at Muldeshwar, but it's a very different kind of sand. It's very different. I, I'm, I don't know. I hope I don't fall. That's all. Riding on such a vast expanse of loose and deep sand was an altogether new motorcycling experience for me. Even though the instructions given to us by the expert trainers sounded fairly simple, putting them into practice was extremely challenging. Most of us ended up taking a tumble or two before we began to get the hang of it. And only those who could forget the drama around them and ride with an almost meditative focus were able to conquer the sand dune. didn't get to bring my own camera but sneaking in a little bite here on Bharat's phone thank you very much this is the op baba mandir behind me there it's getting over exposed is the snout of the uh, siachen glacier which has moved from here in 2005 to way back and this is uh, where the river begins <coughs> sorry for the over exposed shot just wanted to shoot something here can't believe we're actually here Going into this ride, I thought I would take a while to get comfortable on the Adventure 390 because it's quite different from the bikes that I've ridden before. But surprisingly, I began to enjoy the bike in almost no time at all, and it only got better as I learned to ride it better. Hello, my buddies. Move, Ferry. Hey, hey, hey! Now is not the time, my friends.
technically today as we leave from Somariri we are starting the return journey so as to speak so because we go Somariri Sarchu Manali Chandigarh this is an epic epic place Somariri is so beautiful i should show it to you if i'm talking about it the lake is just stunning and uh, we just stopped over here for a couple of minutes sarat's somewhere there there he is to just take it all in one more time before we start like off road bashing our way through the roads again all the way back to sarchu and eventually manali pause process proceed most group tours through ladakh are based on a location checklist more than anything else what i enjoyed about this ktm pro experience was that it truly lived up to its name in the process of riding through this beautiful landscape on capable machines with expert trainers and a motley crew of riders from from all over the country and beyond i ended up making new friends seeing beautiful places discovering new experiences understanding a machine and developing new riding skills as well a sort of coming together of everything that you could want from an adventure motorcycling experience like i have no neck yeah hi guys welcome to a new video